Hello, in this video I am going to show you the tween animation. Tween is just, just short for in between because you essentially specify end and star values or more I should say start and end value and we'll be using a color animation and the tween animation calculates what it should be in between. We don't have to manually set all of those but potentially hundreds or even thousands of frames. To implement it's pretty simple you get tween animation for all sorts of stuff so if i just write in tween you can do it for color text styling the alignment border radius pretty much anything that you can you know modify you can have some sort of form of tween for it so i'm going to do the tween animation for color the principle is pretty much the same for anything else if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message but first of all what we need to do is we need to say for our class with single ticker provider state mixing this will be required for the tween animation because the vsync will be linked up to it next what we're going to do is create a couple of variables first one is going to be animation controller i'm going to call this controller next is going to be animation and this is going to be color obviously if you are animating something else feel free to use a different property and I'm going to name this animation next what we are going to do is create the constructor with the my homepage state constructor so the constructor for this class and this will basically just initialize these two variables that we've just created so to do that we just do underscore controller equals animation controller and for the reason we can put this actually I'll do it manually myself for a moment and so we are going to say first of all we're going to set a duration so the duration is going to be duration then you can specify milliseconds, days, hours, whatever you want I'm going to do milliseconds, I'm going to do it over three I think I'm going to do it over four and a half thousand which is four and a half seconds now we need to specify vsync which is virtue which is the synchronization of the animation so if your device slows down a bit it doesn't seem like it's slowing down too much you're trying to sync it with the frame rate so this is very important and what am i missing because it's giving me an error okay Strange. Oh, well, that would be giving me an error. Vsync. No, I'll put true. I'm going to put this. There we go. That's fine now. Now we can actually set up the animation. So, animation. And we're going to say color or equals color tween. And in here, really all we need to specify is the begin. So, that's just the starting color. So, I'm going to say color. Dot from RGB zero you could choose a built-in color if you want to but I'm going to just do from RGB zero I'm going to say from red so full red so zero green zero blue opacity I'll leave it as 1.0 so it's full opacity don't see why they wouldn't like it let me just continue and implement the rest of it in color dot from rgb zero we are going to change it to a blue color and opacity will leave at 1.0 okay yeah we need to finish the rest of this off so we need to do dot animate we need to specify the controller now we need to add a listener so we are going to say dot dot add listener now in the listener we are going to just have a method and really all this is going to say is set state and that will just update the state of our application now we should be able to put a semicolon the last thing that remains in here is just to put underscore controller and I'm going to say dot forward and that is it so dot forward actually activates the animation tells the animation to start so you could trigger this somewhere else 
I'm just going to trigger it at the start. And what we are going to do is we have a container here. The container has a property called decoration. And for this, we can do box decoration. And then we can say color. And we can set the color to the animations value. And this will return a hexadecimal value, which can be assigned to color. So if we save this reload, okay, so that crashed. Let me just rerun it. One thing to bear in mind with the animation, any sort of animation, is trying to just do a hot reload a lot of the time does not work you'll need to do a hot restart as well the application crash i'm actually running the application from scratch so it's built it it will it's installed in the apk now and just wait there we go so let me restart that so the background color which is a container is initially set to red nothing else is on and full opacity it changes to blue and it animates between when red and it goes to like a purpley color blue and there we go so that's what the animation tween is the tween animation nothing much more to it than that you could use this property wherever you want what i want you to do is implement a button so when you click it it activates the animation have maybe another button or have a slider which you're able to you know change these values that'll be really cool to mix in what you've already done also have it so it prints out this animation value as it is ticking along over the duration of this animation if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video